hello and welcome back so let's go ahead and add the selection script first of all let's go ahead and remove this player car controller script okay because if we play the game you will notice that when the game start okay and for example the player select this car and then if we move the car as you can see the car is still moving it will not move on mobile phones because on the menu we will not have any controls but on the pc as you can see it is still moving so we don't want that let's go ahead and remove this player car controller script and leave the other as it is and then let's go inside the scripts folder and let's create a new script by the name of car selection click on this player car spawn area and then add the script right there now let's open this up right here let's remove that right here at the top let's add a, a reference to the uh, using unity engine.ui package okay because we will be dealing with the ui and after that let's add another one which will be the scene management because when we select a car then we will change the scene okay we want to go to the scene day which is the racing track okay so for that we need to add this package as well so it is unity engine dot scene management after that right here let's add a header by the name of buttons and canvas and here we need a reference to our next button so we will say public button and let's say next button and now let's create a reference to the previous button so we will say previous button okay and after this let's create a method or you can say a function by the name of choose car and in here it will need a parameter by the name of integer index okay it will be of type integer and then in here we will add a for loop and inside this for loop we will say integer i by default it will be equals to zero and then if that i is less than the transform dot child count then what you will do will say i plus plus okay and let me tell you that how we will change different cars as you can see right here in the player car spawn area we have this script okay on this parent object and inside this parent we have this child okay which is the player cars okay so as you can see this is set to 1 2 3 or 0 1 2 then when the player press this next button we will activate this first child okay and if you click on it again then we will deactivate this one and activate the next one okay and when we click on the player click on this next button again then we will activate this one and the same logic will be applied to this one but that will be then go in the reverse order okay so if the player is on this second car okay and then he click on this button then this car will be deactivated and this next car the first car will be activated okay so we will use the child count right here and using the child count we will change the cars so right here we set uh, we set the i to 0 and then we say if i is less than the child count then we will say i plus plus so as you know i is equals to 0 and the child count is 1 2 3 so as you know 0 is less than 1 and 2 and 3 so this for loop will run and when it's run what we will do we will say transform dot get child we will pass in the i and then we will say dot game object dot set active and 
we will set or you can say we will activate that car and accordingly okay if it is the first car we will activate that if it is the second one we will activate that and it will go so on okay let's it will actually select the car which we need okay so this was for choosing the car now we need to change the car as well okay or you can say we can now we need a way to switch the cars okay switch between different cars so uh, if the player select this car then we will set a reference to this current car okay and we will say that if there is a current car already activated then we want to switch the cars so then we will set the current car to the next car or the previous car okay so for example if this is the current car and then the player click on this next button then the current car will be equals to this next car which is this one okay so right here we will create a private integer by the name of current car and then down below let's create a function let's say public void switch car or actually you can make this small and then this switch car will need a integer which will be by the name of switch cars okay no difference between these two it is this one the method or you can say the function name is switch car and the parameter is switch cars okay so in here we will say that current car plus equals to switch cars okay and after that we will call this function or method which is choose car and to that as you can see it needs an index so we will pass the current car right there so now how this will work as you know that the default car will be this first one okay and this will be the current car so if the player click on the next button or the pre the previous button will be actually deactivated if this car is selected because as you can see there is no previous car okay there is only next car so then if the player click on this next button okay then as you can see right here we change the current car to the switch cars okay or you can say uh, next car and as you can see the next car is this one so it will actually activate the next car like this and then it will tell this choose car that now the index is this current car and as you can see now the current car is this second one so now this index is equals to 2 okay and what this will do this will basically then activate the second car that's why we call this function right there okay so let's go ahead and test this out so let me actually remove that and then select these both buttons right here add a on click event and then drag and drop this player car canvas area right there and for the next one actually for both of them let's go inside car selection and select the switch car function okay and as you can see right here it needs a switch cars integer so as i told you for the next one it will go like one two three and then for the previous button it will go minus okay or you can say in the previous direction so for this one let's set let's set the switch car value to one and then for the previous one let's set it to minus one okay so when the game start it will show these both buttons and when we if we click on the next button then as you can see this is set on one two and three so it will first activate this one and then when we click on that uh, it will be then set to two so on the two we have this car then on the three we have this car and then when we press press on the previous button then as you know it is minus one so 
if we are on the third card then it will minus one from it now it will be set to two so it will activate this two and when we press on it again it will minus one again and then the index will be set to one so it will then show this first card okay so let's go ahead and play the game as you can see for now we don't see any car but if you click on this next button as you can see now we can switch between different cars as you can see we have this car let's click on this player car canvas area right here change this to debug mode for now as you can see the current car is set to zero okay I think it is start from 0, 1 and 2, okay, not 1, 2, 3. So, for now it is set to 0. Now if you click on the next one, it, it is now set to 1, okay, it is showing this car. Now if you click on it again, it is now set to 2, okay, because on the next button, it just plus 1 value with it, okay. And now if you click on the previous one, as you can see, it is now decreasing. And now we are back to 0, okay. So now in this way, you can change between cars but if you notice that when we press on this button it just goes all the way up okay if we click uh, click on this debug as you can see it is current car is now 16 and now 33 31 the blue will be 34 okay we don't want that we just want to add a restriction on this buttons okay and we only want to show the cards which is available in the player car canvas okay for example it has now three cards so if we have click on this button and see all of these three cards then we want to deactivate this button we just want to then show the previous button and when we come all the way up to the uh, player car okay which is set on the zero then we want to deactivate this previous one and show the next button but that is for the next video.